Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach Jay Ortiz, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers and also Champagne Beverage. The Lions would have game two on the road at Lake Charles as they took on the homestanding McNeese State Cowboys uh, in a nightcap. Let's take a look at those highlights. Played two games on Friday, and this was the uh, second game on Friday. Played McNeese on game two on Friday, Friday night. Lions drew first blood. We scored in that top half of that first, and Cowboys coming back. Jordan Hemel on the man board. Jordan was really, really good. Hit by pitch for the first batter, but after that first inning, he settled in and dominated. That first inning, they did a good job getting right back into it. They hit the ball deep, center field, tied up at one. But from this point on, they didn't really even sniff Jordan. He was dominating after this. As you can see there, it gets a pop up. Shallow center field, Harry Slade gets under it. Makes the play. Then here come the Lions. Harry Slade getting one in that four hole. Had him pinching that middle. Did a good job finding that open gap and getting in there. Brock Abair, nice bunt down there. Advances the runner. See Harry. Productive out there. Runners at second, and third. Hit behind the runner. Run advances. Runner scores. Good job of hitting my pace, line score again. And as you see right there, Hemel just dominated from that point on. Really had him chasing. Good pitch, strike three. Blows the fastball right by him. Good job by Hemel. Lad Rose, a little hit and run action. Run on the move, shortstop broke. Lad does a good job hitting the power ground ball right through him. This is a great sacrifice bunt. Advancing the runners. Good job right there, sacking them over. Sam Rock Roberson, good job bunting. And then we get a hit right back through the middle. Good job by Jacob Fisher. Driving those two runners in. Nice slide. Ben Hernandez, excuse me, that hit right back up the middle. Good job by Ben. Getting that ball back through the middle. Both those guys had great days on the, on the, on the Friday. This is a tremendous play by Cody Geiger. Web Jim gets that ball deep right field. Cody makes an acrobatic catch. Great job by Cody. One of the better defensive outfielders in this conference. Good job of pace. Two strike hit and try to get in on him. Didn't do too much with it. Stayed inside and hit it right back through the middle. Great job by JP. Get down with Coach Maxey with his hard hat. Geiger crushes that ball, almost decapitates the pitcher. This is a super job of base on right here. You want to go first to third, one out, and that's exactly what Pace does. This down there. Didn't quite do a good job on that bunt. Run at third base, kind of pushed it a little bit too hard right at the first baseman. And they made a nice play on it. Ball stayed up in there, it was a tough read. But here we go, right back at it. See, shortstop Ben Hernandez with another hit, swinging back really well. Brock Abra crushes this ball down at left field line, right off the dodge sign. Scoring two runs, just kind of put the game out of reach. Lions jumping on him, starting to pour it on now. Good job by Abra getting him in. Boy, this is another great job of Jonathan Pace. Just drove it right over second baseman's head. Good job of hitting. Keep adding on to that lead. Turn it over to our bullpen. Andre Cutera, I tell you, boy, he has been just absolutely dominating. Throwing fastballs by guys. Consistency up raise, low 90s, good breaking ball. Fastball just exploding, as you can see right there. Boom, three strikeouts, one inning. Andre Ponyboy Cutera. Gonna be a special one, no question about it. Lions win, beat McNeese. By a score of nine to one, great job. Bats really came out. Pace with four hits on the day, and Lad Rhodes with two. He mailed with another gem. Coach, while you were in the middle of those highlights, I almost dove into this food, but let's, <laughs> I want to thank Brady again, but let's get to the game as your club really responded with a big victory over Manise State, really rebounded from that tough loss against Central Michigan. Yeah, we came out, swung the bats very, very well. Jordan Hemel was on the mound and really did a great job, but our hitters did such a good job putting runs up, took a lot of pressure of us calling pitches, and Jordan did a great job just dominating the strike zone. Well, the Lions would have another shot at Central Michigan the next day on Saturday. Let's take a look at that scoreboard. 
Here we go on a Sunday. Lions take two out of three on a weekend. What a great weekend. Go on the road, take two out of three. Southeastern beat Central Michigan eight to one. Janway with another stellar performance, two and on the mound. Jacob Fisher two for four, two RBIs. Ben Hernandez caps a great weekend, going two for four as well. And Lions improved to nine and two overall. Well, coach, your club wins two out of three on the road. They they get that revenge against Central Michigan and Josh Janway for the second consecutive week. He was outstanding. Yeah, starting pitching was really good all weekend long. Coon, Hemel, and Janway. Josh gave us six strong innings, gave us a chance to turn those bullpens, and the hitters once again responded, putting up an eight spot, and you know, beating those guys eight to one. So the Lions take two out of three on the weekend and move to nine and two overall. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll have a lot more for you right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach JRTs, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers and also Champagne Beverage. 